Now, the U.S. Congress is fighting against time to renew its spy program. It is considered critical to the U.S. national security. However, it faces uncertainty as lawmakers are citing reservations over how the authority empowers warrantless domestic surveillance as well. The rift in Republicans is jeopardizing the extension of the program. The bill in question would renew Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act for two years rather than five. It allows the U.S. government to collect electronic communications of non-Americans located outside the country without a warrant. But what makes it controversial is that sometimes the data of Americans who are in contact with those surveilled individuals is also collected. Congress is facing a time crunch to come to a resolution as Section 702 is set to expire on the 19th of April in what is seen as another blow to the Speaker, Mike Johnson. On Wednesday, an attempt to move ahead with the reforming and renewing parts of the Foreign Intelligence Service Surveillance Act was blocked by the House Republicans. Meanwhile, FBI Chief Christopher Wray has urged the Congress to reauthorize Section 702. Speaking to a House panel, the FBI director said that he has seen the threat from foreign terrorists rise to a whole another level December, after 7th of October. He says it is an absolute indispensable tool in their fight against foreign adversaries. Ray also mentioned the concert hall attack in Moscow, which the U.S. government warned Russian authorities to expect. It is critical in securing our nation, and we are in crunch time with our 702 authorities set to expire next week. But now, increasingly concerning, is the potential for a coordinated attack here in the homeland, akin to the ISIS-K attack we saw at the Russia concert hall just a couple weeks ago. We also need funding to counter the threat from the People's Republic of China. Washington believes Section 702 of FISA is a critical tool in their fight against terror, as previously Section 702 was used to target Al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri, who was killed in a U.S. drone strike in August 2022. Al-Zawahiri was Osama bin Laden's deputy and helped coordinate the September 11th attacks. Section 702 played a role in locating ICE commander Haji Iman, who was killed by U.S. Special Operations Forces in 2016. According to the Office of the Director of, Interna of National Intelligence, despite its prevalence in combating terror threats, former President Donald Trump and some of his conservative allies in Congress have broadly criticized FISA. He claims a portion of law needing renewal was used to spy on his 2016 presidential campaign after FBI obtained warrants through FISA to wiretap, cart a page and advisor to Trump's first presidential campaign. Trump this week has also urged lawmakers to kill FISA. And now to get you more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report from New York. Listen to this. The U.S. government's ability to collect massive amounts of Internet and cell phone data under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act's Section 702 is in jeopardy due to Republican rift. The program has helped the United States gather intelligence on foreign threats, including Russia's intentions in Ukraine, as well as terror networks. However, there are concerns about incidental collection of data on hundreds of thousands of Americans, notably without a warrant. Now, proposals to add protections for Americans specifically, such as requiring a warrant to access communications involving Americans, have been met with resistance from the FBI and intelligence agencies. They argue that it would hinder their ability to respond quickly to threats. The program's authorization is set to lapse on April 19th, and lawmakers are searching for a plan B to extend it. The debate highlights the balance between national security and privacy concerns at a time when the FBI warns of heightened terror threats on the homeland. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One. For latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.